In this fourth episode of Observable Explorations, we're going to look at Bindable. For now, that's going to round out our introduction to the at Observable. This could be a very short video, but I do want to motivate the example just a little bit. So let's start with a simple slider in our main view. Here's our main view, and inside the body we have a V stack, and at top of the V stack is a text which will display our value, and below is a slider, and I'm going to have values between 0 and 100. The value must be bound to something that's a double of some sort. And so, for example, we can have a local state property called count, which I initialized to 0. And now the slider is bound to dollar sign count. And the text will display the count's description. The count is the double, and dollar sign count is the binding to the double. This is what our example will look like. For kicks, let's create views for the display and the slider just to move them out of the main view to give us a little distance as we start passing these things around. To display our count, we'll use a value display and it will accept a double. It will accept the count and it will show value.description in text. On the other hand, our value slider will be a slider between 0 and 100 and it will need something that it is bound to. It will need something that is a binding to a double. And we can connect this to the main view as you've no doubt done many times. The value display needs the double, and the value slider needs the binding to the double. And this works great. But I want to move that state, I want to move count, out of our main view and use a model object again. So let's bring back our observable model. I've got my class model, and it's got this count that I initialized to 0.0. .0. Model is observable, which means we import observation, and that's it for model. But how do I connect main view to that? Well, even though it's unnecessary, let's introduce a controller that sits between the view and the model. And as before, the controller just contains an instance of the model. It is a struct. It is not observable. There's no magic going on here. All the magic is inside of the model. As we did last time, let's create an instance of controller in the app and pass it into the main view. And we'll go back and fix main view in a minute. So in our app, we create our state property, the controller, which is an instance of controller, and main view in a moment will accept a controller. So we have to fix main view. First of all, main view has to accept a controller. So we'll let controller be the controller that gets passed in. We've got more to do to fix main view than that because we've got this value display that expects a count, this double, and our value slider that expects a binding to the count. The value display is easy to fix. If you give me the controller, I just ask for the controller's model's count, there's our double. But the slider is different. The slider expects a binding. So maybe you say, just give me the dollar sign controller dot model dot count, but that's not a binding, and that doesn't compile. On the other hand, model is observable. And something new that came along with the observable APIs is that we can modify the values of properties of an observable object using at bindable. So I have to adjust the value slider to accept something that is observable. In this case, what I'm passing to the value slider is model. Model is observable. And I mark model as bindable. And now I can adjust the properties of model, because model's observable, I can adjust those from my value slider, and I do that here using dollar sign model dot count. So let's track the data flow. We start by creating the instance of the controller in our observable exploration app. We pass that into the main view. The main view takes that controller and it displays the values using the value display by passing in the double controller.model.count, and this depends on updates to an observable property, so it will get updated correctly. And for the value slider, we pass in an observable object, the controller.model, and the value slider says, oh, I'll just mark that as at bindable, which means that in the slider, I can bind to that dollar sign models count property if it is a double. And it is. And that brief look at bindable completes our quick tour of observable.